the early 1960s, Sweden wanted a new fighter plane that could handle multiple tasks, replacing the Saab 32 for strikes and the Saab 35 Draken for air defense and reconnaissance. The new aircraft needed to reach speeds of Mach 1 at low altitudes and Mach 2 at high altitudes. It also had to be compatible with Sweden's Base 90 scheme, which used specially prepared road sections that were 800 meters long and 9 meters wide as runways. During wartime, aircrafts and their support units would be spread out to these sites to reduce the risk of attack. This Base 90 scheme required the aircraft to have excellent short takeoff and landing capabilities while still achieving high performance. Since 1952, Saab had been exploring various designs to succeed the Draken. By 1962, the company was able to present a proposal that met the required specifications. The design featured a canard configuration, which provided better short field operations than a traditional delta wing and a powerful RM-8 afterburning bypass jet engine with a thrust reverser to reduce the landing roll. The Swedish Air Force approved the proposal and authorized full development of the Vigan on September 28, 1962. By 1965, orders were placed for six single-seat AJ-37 Vigan prototypes and one two-seat SK-37 Vigan prototype. The AJ-37 is the attack version of the Vigan, and the SK-37 is the two-seat trainer. The Vigan is designed as a low double delta wing fighter. It features a single tail and is powered by a single engine. It has canards with flaps that provide lift for both flight and taking off and landing. The wings have a dog tooth at the leading edge to improve stability at high angles of attack. The structure was built using aluminum with a honeycomb design and the rear section is entirely aluminum. It can handle forces up to 12G, but the operational limit is set at 7G. Earlier versions of the Vigan didn't have an internal cannon because, at the time, close range combat was considered less critical. This approach was also seen in other designs like the American F-4 Phantom. Further variants incorporated an internal cannon. The Vigan measures 16.4 meters in length with a wingspan of 10.6 meters and a height of 5.9 meters. It features a wing area of 46 square meters. A total of 329 Vigans were built and served in the Swedish Air Force until 2005. The Vigan was exclusively used by the Swedish Air Force. Agreements with the United States provided technology that enhanced the performance of this already advanced fighter making it one of the most advanced aircraft during most of its service life. The Vigan was a single pilot fighter, so it needed advanced avionics instead of a navigator. It used the CK-37 computer, the first airborne computer with integrated circuits, and that even in service with the Swedish Air Force fleet of Vigans until the early years of the 21st century. During the development of the Vigan's electronics, factors like vibration, strong forces, and crashes were taken into account. This led to a robust computer that could withstand crashes while preserving important data. The CK-37 computer was crucial for the Vigan, assisting with mission management, aircraft control, and supporting the pilot. Another key avionics component of the Vigan was the Ericsson PS-37X radar. This radar could handle air-to-ground and air-to-air -air telemetry, search, tracking, terrain avoidance, and cartography tasks. The Vigan was powered by a single Volvo RM8 turbofan engine, a modified version of the Pratt & Whitney JT-8D engine used in 1960s commercial airliners with an added afterburner. The RM8A is the most powerful fighter engine in the late 1960s. For the JA-37, the RM8A was upgraded to the RM8B. The JA-37 is the interceptor variant of the Vigan. It was designed specifically for air defense. The RM8B includes a third low-pressure compressor stage higher turbine inlet temperature, and improved fuel diffusion in the combustion chamber, which collectively enhance its performance and efficiency. The Volvo RM8B engine produces about 28,000 pounds of thrust when using the afterburner. Without the afterburner, it generates around 16,000 pounds of thrust. The Vigan has a maximum speed of Mach 2.1 and a range of 2,000 kilometers. Its maximum service ceiling is 59,000 feet, and it has a climb rate of 40,000 feet per minute. The JA-37 is armed with a 30mm Orlikon cannon and carries 125 rounds. It has 9 hardpoints, 3 under the fuselage and 3 under each wing, with a total capacity of 7,000 kilograms. The JA-37 features the Ericsson PS-46A radar, capable of guiding two semi-active radar homing RB-71 missiles 
on the fuselage pylons simultaneously alongside RB-24J air-to-air -air missiles. Unguided cannon and rocket pods are available for secondary ground attack roles. In 1987, the JA-37 was upgraded to include the more advanced all-aspect RB-74 air-to-air missile. The major upgrade to the JA-37D in 1997 allowed it to carry four RB-99 missiles on the fuselage and inner wing pylons. Also, these upgrades included the ability to carry the RB-15F anti-ship missile, the BK-90 standoff cluster bomb, and Sidewinder missiles on the previously unused outer wing pylons. The newer RB-74 missile was also added to these variants. The Viggen was phased out in favor of the Gripen, with the last frontline Viggen retired from the Swedish Air Force in November 2005. A few were used for electronic warfare training until the last Viggen flight in June 2007.